All right, uh, let's do it. Let's do a chord melody of autumn leaves. Uh, I hope you got some prep and stuff underneath your fingers uh, to uh, to help us uh, get through a, a nice uh, a nice straightforward arrangement of this of this tune, this great uh, classic standard. Uh, okay, now we know what key we're in, right? We're in the we're in the key of G major. Uh, we've got a two five one four in the key of G major, and then we have a two five one in the relative minor. Uh, that that you should uh, that you should know as you move forward. You should have all of your uh, scale forms sort of be aware of where they are. Have them all uh, uh, underneath your fingers, and be able to play them laterally laterally as well as vertically. Uh, that that will all you know help help to uh, inform where we're uh, where you're going from a fretboard mechanics perspective. Okay, so let's uh, let's just start. We know that we don't want to play it down here, right? Because it's it's going to be uh, we're we're not, we're not going to be able to get enough meat of a chord underneath, and it's and it's you know it doesn't sound bright and uh, bright and and. Um, uh, down there, and and besides that, in terms of ranges, if you're playing with an upright bass player, you'll want to be in, you know at a higher range because the bass player is dealing with that stuff down there, right? Uh, and you and you don't want to keep colliding with them. So we're going to take it up an octave, and uh, and and let's just let's just take a look at the melody to begin with. Right, it's a sequential melody, and then it goes down to the a step down in the scale. And then a step down again. And then a step down again. All right. And now what we want to do, once, once you've got that melody underneath your fingers, what you want to do is start to add chords underneath, right? Simple. Uh, so here we go, especially on the strong beats of the measures, right? So you'll want to add a chord at beat one of the measure. That's that's sort of the goal. So we want this chord here, maybe. So this is just an A minor chord with a root in the bass. A minor triad with, with the third up on top. You could you could also use this chord here. That sort of sounds prettier to me. All right, so so that's uh, uh, that's uh, that's a minor seventh chord. that and then and then uh, and then as you can see uh, the the minor seven goes to a D7 so if I'm playing if I'm playing this minor seven here and then I go to D7 and I have to keep that that C note on top I could do this D7 here which which is uh, you know just like this 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 bar D7, um, or I could substitute this D7 for a, uh, uh, a seven flat nine or a diminished chord. So that would give me, I like that. And it really makes a lot of sense with the, with the movement too. And then uh, the next, the next little bit of the melody, G major seven. There's the melody, and then we have to change to a C major seven, which, and we still have that that melody up on top, right? So so far, we have this.
Here's our F sharp minor seven flat five. And then we may, I think that what's gonna make the most sense is just to do B seven flat nine again. go we could go uh, we could play it like this or the minor like this or we could work our way up the fretboard it sounds nice with that with that you know that bass note down there so let's work our way up the fretboard. Okay, so let's, and then, so now, um, what, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm trying to give you options. I think, that, you know, I, I, I want, because I want to get you thinking on the fretboard. Um, and uh, no, so it's not like, it's not like this is what I do, so put your fingers here. It's like, well, here's a nice option, and you could try this option, or you could try that option, and what I'm thinking is this, and what, you know, and so on, right? Um, uh, but, but eventually, what you want to be able to do is build your own individualized solo and chord melody. Um, I, 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 anecdote time, um, I, I remember, I remember uh, having a student years ago who uh, came in, uh, to to my studio and uh, and uh, wanted to take lessons with me and uh, and I said well can you play me something and 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 he played this uh, he said sure and he played me something and uh, and it was it was like I said to him after he played it for me which he played flawlessly he he was a he was a young, uh, a, a Japanese college student uh, you know from from Japan and. Um, uh, who was who was studying in Canada at the time, and I said, I you know I I wh wh why do you want me to teach you? I mean, man, that was just, that's one of the nicest solos I've ever heard. You know what 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 can I show you? And he said, well, that's the only solo I know. Well, I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, it, it's it's uh, it's a Barney Kessel solo, and uh, and I just learned it from a book, which is cool. Not saying that's a bad thing to do. Uh, it's a wonderful thing to do, but the thing is, he did not understand any of the context of what he was doing. He didn't understand the chords he was playing. He didn't understand the notes he was playing. It, you know, he just you know he just worked his way through this thing for months, right, until he you know he could play it. Uh, but he didn't have a clue what he was doing. So if if he had to if he had to play in a combo or if he had to play in a uh, you know his own solo or whatever. Not a clue. Didn't know how to do it. So, uh, so anyway, so that you know, for for me to to sit here and say, you know, here, put your fingers here, put your fingers there. That 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 really is not, you know, is not where where, where we want to be. Uh, I want to to give you the material that you need to build your own music. Um, that's pretty heady stuff, but yeah, that's where it's at. You know, give you the elements you need to create. Okay, uh, so uh, so yeah, so this is what we've got so far. And then we decided to go to this chord. And then to, to that uh, D7 flat nine, that, uh, that little diminished chord, which you'll use over and over again. Right, and then to the... At that point, we decided rather than to do that and play there, we decided to work our way up because because it's just it's just it's just nicer. So it's 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 got more body up there. And the same deal again, uh, second uh, second eight. Second ending, uh, 
And then we have uh, that works nice. Or uh, you you could you could take it up. Let's keep it up there. Uh, and then... So this is a... I've got a... What I'm doing here is... Uh, it's sort of an abbreviation of a... Of a, uh, of a flat... Uh, F sharp minor 7 flat 5 so I can get that melody note. There's the B7 with the flat 9 down here, right? Right, there's our E minor. A minor. And then crossing to the D7. Just like, just a little short chord. Sharp minor seven flat five with the C on top. I think the best here. Everything should fall underneath your fingers. I'll do that again. Okay, and then now we've got this turnaround. This turnaround could could be. Uh, I, I'm going to just give you a couple of uh, a couple of possibilities for the turnaround. The one possibility is what we have here, E minor seven. You know, with this chromatic movement that we have. If I play the chords, right? And if we if we uh, if we uh, put melody on top, which is just a B note, a pedaled B. And the E flat, I'm just playing an E flat like a nine. With a D minor seven, or D minor. And that diminished again, which is really like a D flat seven. Okay, so let's just let's just look at that little turnaround. Yeah, that, that works nicely. Um, but you could you could take this actually this turnaround. It, what what uh, what's happening in this turnaround is you have a. Um, what are called tritone substitutions. So, so actually, the the purer uh, version of this turnaround would simply be. Right would 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 uh, would would just be that that bass movement like the two five two five twice. Five two five resolving to the to the C major seven chord. And so if you if you want to if you if you wanted to instead use that, uh, you could go you could go E minor seven to the A seven with the right, or you could do the A seven. And then the uh, D minor seven. And then the G seven. Right, there, so you 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 could do that as well. This uh, my my point. The point I'm trying to make here is that there's a whack of different of different turnarounds that you could that you could use here. You don't have to use that that specific turnaround because, as you can see, the melody is static, 
so this is just a just a whole ton of stuff that you can do, and uh, and I don't want to get too deeply into that right now. Uh, you know, um, and and you you could keep it simple too if you wanted to. Um, you know, you you could do something as simple as just grab the root. You know that that's pretty. You know, I I, I don't have a problem with that. So you just gonna you know the B on the top, the E on the bottom, E flat, and then the uh, the the uh, actually this is not a C major seven. It's it's really a C major six because because the melody is an A. And then B7, and, we, and if you want to do the diminished. Oh, there, like so. Or like so. It's nicer in the middle like that, right? Diminished chords. Uh, diminished chords are chameleons. Uh, they they become they become seventh chords and seven flat nine chords and diminished chords and all sorts of uh, stuff can happen with diminished chords. So uh, on, you know, on a slight slight uh, detour, diminished chord detour, uh, play play these diminished chords. You know, the especially, and they repeat themselves every three frets, right? And the same thing. Uh, Three frets. So, so if you know, for instance, if you have a if you have a two five one chord progression, let's say, uh, let's say we have a two five one chord progression in the key of C, and then I do the I do the uh, uh, the seven flat nine instead. But now, because it's a seven flat nine, it's an equal division of the octave chord made up of minor consecutive minor thirds. It repeats, and so if I use it as my se as my dominant chord, right? I, I, can, I, I end up with a lot of really cool possibilities. I'll show you what I mean. So there's one. I can I can uh, uh, move those uh, uh, move those chords around. Uh, you know I mean, that's another topic. Uh, okay, so uh, so just a very uh, a very quick uh, one one last look, and then we had this this chord here. We took it up that way, and then we repeat. Um, uh, right, same chord here. I'm trying not to get too fancy. Seven flat five, B seven flat nine. With this, okay, so that's. Uh, that's sort of the idea, and and once you once you get to sort of the, you know to that point uh, where where you're you're feeling like well yeah I like this I you know I'm going to try this I'm going to try that 
Uh, then, then at, at one point, you, you, you may want to start solidifying things a little bit uh, and, um, you know, make it into an arrangement that's, that's your own. And then start to, uh, then you can start doing some fills. And remember that, that uh, this is all in the key of G. Uh, I'm not going to go through in-depth in fills right now, but, you know... <laughs> that again. so on and you can you know work your way work your way through the through the whole fretboard i'm just trying to sort of keep it diatonic and and fairly uh and fairly simple so you can just take those those um uh, diatonic uh chord uh um, those di diatonic scale lines and start to connect the chords up and down the fretboard okay uh that's it uh that's uh that's a bit of a chord melody for for autumn leaves and and that should uh that should help you to uh, to get through the tune on your own. Uh, you know, make sure to to uh, uh, to do some of your own your own work and your own experimentation and see what you come up with. All right, and uh, if this was a help to you, please uh, please like it or subscribe, and we will. Uh, we would much appreciate that, and also. Uh, if you have any questions or, or ideas for, you know, uh, what, what uh, you would like to see us do, or if there's a tune that you would like us to cover, let us know that too. So thanks, uh, thanks for dropping by and, um, and have lots of fun.